Good morning, and thank you for joining me here today. My name is Jason Zander, and I'm joining you from the 21 Acre Center for Sustainable Living and Agriculture in Woodenville, Washington. It's a living agriculture lab, and it's just up the road from our company headquarters in Redmond. I lead the cloud computing division at Microsoft, but I haven't always been an engineer. I grew up in a small rural farm town in Minnesota where agriculture is a core part of life. And as a boy, I spent a lot of time on farms, including summer spent doing farm work. The experience was fantastic. And to this day, I still apply the values that I learned, especially the value of hard work and a very strong sense of community. And coming together as a world community has never been more important. Nourishing the world is an essential mission. There is no industry with a charter more vital or important to the health and well-being of the world's population. Yet, despite our collective best efforts, over 820 million people still suffer from hunger worldwide. Two billion still lack vital nutrients. And compared to 2010 levels, it is estimated that 70% more food will be needed by 2050. Meanwhile, water is receding and the land is not getting richer. Never before have we had so few resources to produce so much. One thing that was true when I grew up and is even more true today is that agriculture must continue to embrace technology to help solve these challenges. We will need to think about how every step in the journey from farm to fork can best leverage cloud technology to improve efficiencies. How can a seed company make better seeds or a food processing company reduce their energy footprint? How together can we unlock new opportunities across the entire food supply chain? We need to move from using intuition and educated estimates to a system of precision agriculture. We need to move from manual processes to automated solutions. We need to move from merely collecting information to insight-powered innovation. And all of it is going to be built on a foundation of sustainable practices. We see a future that is connected, intelligent, and custom. We see a future where ubiquitous connected devices combined with data and ambient intelligence to interpret, react, and adapt meaningful in the world. To power truly customized solutions for every industry and for each customer. Computing is embedded everywhere, and we are building Azure's the world's computer for this era of intelligent cloud and intelligent edge. Our goal is to provide the ubiquitous compute power from the cloud to every edge device over a backbone of connectivity that reaches every corner of the globe. We'll start our journey this morning at the connected farm. Ubiquitous connected devices and intelligence can help our producers provide better yields with less waste using customized data-driven agriculture. Today's producers must manage a variety of challenges deciding what and where to plant and tuning the resources to manage plant health and growth, herd health and wellness, pandemic-related supply chain and labor disruptions, tools and machinery that require maintenance. And all this while trying to predict the weather and managing the increasing impact of global climate change. Data-driven agriculture can help provide necessary insights to improve productivity outcomes while using less resources. But according to the USDA, the high cost of manual data collection prevents farmers from using data-driven agriculture. And connectivity is still a major issue as many farms are located in rural areas where broadband has not yet reached. This is where the cloud can help power this data-driven agriculture, but it first must start with connectivity. That's why Azure has invested in all forms of connectivity. We have a global network consisting of over a million miles of fiber. We have 65 regions and 170 edge sites. This is the backbone upon which all of the connected things and edge devices that power data-driven agriculture combine to help run a farm. From the smallest secure sphere silicon chip that can indicate when a crucial piece of machinery needs to maintenance, to connected sensors to measure moisture levels and soil health, to drones that can fly to remote locations and alert if infrastructure needs critical repairs, to fully contained stack edge solutions, which can deploy cloud compute power in the most rugged remote areas you work in, even bouncing around in the back of a pickup or an ATV. These connected intelligence solutions are all underpinned with a layer of consistent security, identity, and app platform development. 
And when you have that connected intelligent compute power at your fingertips, it opens up a whole new world of opportunity. Most of you are familiar with our Farm Beats platform that we announced last year. Our partner, Lando Lakes, is leveraging the Farm Beats platform to standardize their portfolio of egg tech tools under one unified architecture. We are partnering to create a digital dairy platform that brings together on-farm data with other cloud data sources, such as weather, feed management, financials, and animal health into a single platform. The on-farm data will be captured using IoT devices and edge computing from farms that have poor internet coverage. And AI will be layered on top of this data to provide insights that will help dairy producers improve profit potential, adopt conservation practices, reduce waste, and ensure milk supply doesn't go bad in the supply chain. This solution also leverages our latest Azure Synapse data analytics package and Power BI dashboards to enable traceability through the Land Lake supply chain. I also want to share with you some of the newest innovations in cloud tech that are on the horizon, like the opportunity of 5G, which brings the promise to enable new scenarios like low latency edge compute, network slicing, and industrial IoT. Processors, warehouses, and retailers can enable connected experiences like digital twins of factories, applying new connected insights to drive improved efficiency, reduce energy footprints, and ultimately enable lights out operations. Another way we are helping to enable this connected intelligent farm is by leveraging other parts of the spectrum. For example, TV white space spectrum that can be used on farms and rural properties to provide connectivity over miles of fields. We can use new 4G evolved packet court technology to extend and boost connectivity and power private edge zones, allowing farmers to practice this data-driven agriculture with data from sensors, drones, and satellites to understand precisely how soil, weather, and management intersect. But what happens when the initiatives still leave some farms out of reach? Roughly 40% of the Earth's land mass is used for agriculture, whether that's for growing crops or grazing cattle. But according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, only about 25% of U.S. farms have access to the Internet. It is indeed a big planet, over half a billion square kilometers. So with Azure, we decided to truly bring the power of cloud from soil to space. Azure Space is a new set of offerings that will provide fast, secure cloud computing anywhere on the planet. Our approach is to supply a multi-orbit, multi-band, multi-vendor cloud-enabled capability to power comprehensive satellite connectivity solutions. We're building on our existing solutions we have, and it will be supporting O3B medium Earth orbit, Constellation O3B MEO, to extend connectivity between our cloud data center regions cloud edge devices, and modular data center technology. This is a powerful partnership between our Azure engineers, industry ecosystem experts like SpaceX, U.S. Electrodynamics, and several satellite operators and developers. Our new partnership with SpaceX Starlink will also provide high-speed, low-latency satellite broadband for the new Azure modular data centers. Now, let's continue our journey from farm to fork and take a look at how connected devices combined with intelligent systems can help ensure safe, resilient, and efficient distribution. Ensuring the safe, resilient, and efficient delivery of food to the consumer is a Herculean endeavor. You must consider logistics in getting fresh produce and goods from warmer climates to colder climates. You got to be able to predict supply and demand trends across the globe, not only in normal times, but within a global pandemic. Food must be carefully monitored during the journey within cold storage and at retail to prevent spoilage. And of course, food safety is paramount. One of the ways we are partnering with the industry is to help bring solutions to these challenges through intelligent fulfillment. As those of you in the audience are acutely aware, the COVID pandemic transformed online grocery delivery into a life-saving essential service for our high-risk communities. But online, timely micro-fulfillment and last-mile logistics of these services are challenging, even on a good day. So Atabotic's 3D robotics technology transformed the rows and aisles of a typical flat warehouse into a single vertical storage structure that's modular and scalable. 
where 3D robots store and retrieve items for box packers on the outside of the perimeter. This combined with Foodex EGMS platform can quickly deploy in the back of a store, within a dark store, or even now within a micro-fulfillment center. This solution leverages Microsoft Azure IoT, private edge zones, Azure Stack Edge, and Azure Sphere technology, as well as our Azure data and AI solutions to unlock insights. This intelligent, automated environment requires upwards of 85% less space than typical fulfillment warehouses and allows retailers to place condensed fulfillment centers closer to major cities and the end customers, reducing their carbon output from last mile delivery and accelerating delivery times. The next example I want to share with you is a brand new technology just announced last week at our Spring Ignite conference. Azure Percept is a secure end-to-end -end Edge AI platform. It is a combination of hardware reference designs and software tools and services that work together to perceive the physical world. There are multiple ways the agriculture community can leverage this technology. For example, producers can help keep their cattle herds safe and healthy by automatically detecting cattle that move differently or stand apart from the herd. Processors and distributors can provide dangerous zone detection and alerts. This can increase worker safety in industrial areas. And retailers may leverage it to manage queue wait times and social distance spacing. Another exciting application of this technology will help processors and retailers tackle the huge challenge of food waste. According to the USDA, 1.2 pounds of food per person is wasted every day with a retail value of over $1.40. And 60% of food waste at retail and consumption level represents 161 billion in lost opportunity. Let's watch this demo of how Azure Percept can help. Hello, I'm here to introduce the new Azure Percept Dev Kit, which is a small, lightweight, innovative new AI camera that can perform AI calculations on video at the edge, in this case, a grocery store. So we've trained up an AI model to perform the volumetric detection of bananas in the bin. You'll notice a bit of green glow about the bananas. This is the AI model computing in real time the amount of bananas in the bin. If I were to simulate a shopper coming up and purchasing some bananas by removing them from the bin, then you'll notice the AI model automatically updates to reflect the fact that there's now less bananas. If I were to then restock the bananas by replacing them back in the bin, then again, you notice the AI model automatically updates. This can be used to perform two primary outputs. One is, for store personnel, they can be alerted if there is an outage or a depletion of bananas within the bins, they can restock. But more importantly, by taking a series of time data snapshots of the bananas over time, then the store personnel can use this to improve their supply chain. They can have deep analytical insights around hours to sell, days to sell, replenishment rates, restocking rates, purchasing rates. This can be used to tune the supply chain on behalf of the retailer. As we close out our time, I'd like to bring it all together. These elements build on each other to provide customized solutions for a resilient food chain from farm to fork. That is safe for those who provide it and those who consume it. It's also gentler on the planet to ensure a sustainable future for all. It's an understatement to say that the path to these goals is complex, and it will take customized, adaptive, and powerful technology to support the level of complexity necessary. Take, for example, high-performance computing or supercomputing. HPC can provide up to 80,000 compute cores in one job with 45% more memory bandwidth. For comparison, the Surface Book PC I use has only four cores. These systems can analyze and interpret exponential inputs and provide recommended next actions for a truly custom solution. This is technology that used to be the domain of only the largest of companies or universities. That is now available on demand as a service in the cloud. The applications of this are immense. For example, HPC can help in the creation of custom seeds for higher yields or accelerate molecular discovery. One such example is how Firminish is leveraging these advanced compute systems to power custom solutions to their challenge. Firminish is a Swiss company focused on advancing nutrition by making healthy foods taste great. Last year, their flavors division studied how the pandemic was affecting people's food, beverage, and nutrition needs. And they found a remarkable surge towards immunity-boosting foods and healthier eating 
with a clear shift to plant-based proteins. This led them to create the first ever flavor by artificial intelligence, or AI, a delicious, lightly grilled beef for use in plant-based meat alternatives. Providing customers a great tasting, nutritious, and sustainable food choice with unprecedented speed to market, the milestone was made possible through the enormous calculation potential of Azure's next generation cloud tech and data and AI capabilities. So they could quickly and easily leverage raw materials spanning the entirety of the company's broad databases. Another example comes to us from one of our partners in Norway. Through an AI for Salmon Analytics pilot, technology partner ABB and Microsoft co-created a solution with Norway Royal Salmon to produce quality food in a safer and more environmentally responsible way. The pilot showed that NRS can increase the efficiency and safety of its workers, who now aren't required to be at open sea as often as before. The new technology will have an impact on the CO2 footprint due to less operations and better fish welfare, resulting in cleaner seas and improved efficiencies. Let's take a look. I think it's going to be a, a huge step. We always uh, want to know how much fish we have in the cages and uh, how many kilos. Uh, and if uh, ABB and uh, Microsoft can help with, uh, with us with that, it's uh, the perfect match for us. I want to close out on one of our biggest investments for the future, quantum computing. Starting with a topic that many in this audience are going to be very familiar with, nitrogen's role in agriculture. Ammonia is a good fertilizer because it contains nitrogen in a form that is easily broken down and reused by plants. Over 100 years ago, researchers invented a process for producing ammonia at industrial scale. It's still the most used method today for nitrogen fixation but it requires huge amounts of energy, one ton of fossil fuel to produce just one ton of nitrogen fertilizer. And to maintain the high temperatures of 400 Celsius and pressure required for all of the reactions to take place. 4% of all the energy produced globally every year goes into just this process. It's essentially what every nuclear power plant produced in 2015. For centuries, farmers planted beans to restore the nitrogen content of soil. Bean roots contain bacteria capable of converting atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia using nitrogenase, the enzyme that you see here. This enzyme converts nitrogen into ammonia at room temperature and pressure. Unfortunately, we don't know how it works other than the most general terms. And the process is too complex for us to model accurately using regular computers. In fact, to do this on a regular computer, you would require every atom on 10 Earths acting as our memory for the simulation. Quantum computers, however, could do the simulation using as few as 170 qubits. Here we see only a tiny selection of the challenges we can tackle with the power of quantum computers. Nitrogen fixation and carbon capture solutions, land use optimization at a global scale, or designing new materials for better, longer lasting batteries. And this is barely scratching the surface. Achieving this scale will require a worldwide community innovating together across every layer of the quantum stack from software and applications down to control and devices. That's why we open sourced our quantum development kit in Q Sharp language in GitHub to empower a growing community of over 200,000 quantum developers. 
with the tools that they need to learn, build, and solve together. And with that, I'm going to close out our time. I hope you are all as excited as I am about how we can partner together to help nourish the world. We have touched on only the surface of what is possible today. And if you would like further information, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Now, I know there's another great day of exciting sharing and learning plan as part of the conference. Please enjoy your time and thank you.